Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing January 27th daily love reading. I want to thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, I was dealing with the energetic shifts myself, getting major downloads, and was um, having some difficulty uh, doing readings. So I had to just Take in my own energy, work with my own energy, and I am back now. So, and I tell you what, my um, my reading is just it just is flowing so nice the last couple of days. So I'm super excited. Um, my channeling is becoming very uh, very quick. I can call it in very quick. So I'm pretty excited. I am on this spiritual journey just as much as you guys are, so, all right, Earth Signs, let's get this rolling. What do our Earth Signs have in store for them for Sunday, the 27th of January? I cannot believe we are at the end of January already. Insane. Did that one flip? No. That one did, though. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to pick this one back up because it did not flip over. It was the Ace of Swords for any, in reverse for anybody interested. We'll see if it comes back out again. All right, Justice, Two of Cups, and Eight of Wands. All right, and your guys' outcome for today. The Two of Wands, the Seven of Swords in Reverse, and the Empress. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy with your person you are dealing with is the Six of Cups in Reverse, the Magician, and the lovers. Holy cow. Your guys' overall theme for the reading is the tower. Whew. I just got a ton of heavy energy. All right. Just give me one second, Earth Signs. I just got to... Got to um, receive your messages here. Okay. All right, Earth Signs. Your guys' has shared energy. This is either your energy or the person you are dealing with. Um, the energies are fluid and can be vice versa. So if it doesn't apply to you or your side of the situation, it is more than likely your partner's um, side of the situation. So just apply it where it fits and leave the rest at the door. So um, you guys are uh, dealing with a situation <clears throat> with a lot of drained emotions, a lot of, I just don't know how much longer I can do this feelings. Um, this could be somebody that you have children with. Um, for this group of you, um, I do see children being involved. Uh, this is also like getting out of the memories for some of you, you stuck around for so long because you kept thinking of the memories. You kept thinking it could get back to that way again. Um, there is a choice here in love. Uh, whether you are choosing or your person is choosing, they are choosing wherever love is. That is where they are going because they are manifesting or you are manifesting this uh, relationship to um, to new levels, to uh, higher this is like a uh, higher level of consciousness. This is a beautiful um, combination of cards because this is a, uh, to me, a twin flame divine relationship simply because um, of the, uh, the hand that the universe has in these cards, the light being shown from the heavens down upon them. This is manifesting the relationship into reality. And this is the actual coming together in union, choosing love, choosing to be um, back with your 
uh, soulmate. Uh, you guys could be in separation right now as well with the six of cups in reverse. And then these two cards, this tells me for some of you, you are, you left a twin flame, um, and you're in separation right now, but this is manifesting a union or science. So for those of you in this, uh, in this journey, uh, that is exciting news to hear. However, there is still some things you need to deal with before you can move into this shared energy. Uh, your overall theme of the reading is the tower, wiping the slate clean, clearing out all in your way in your life that is standing between you and your uh, soulmate over here. Uh, this is coming very quickly. Uh, these seeds were planted a long time ago, but the tower is finally coming down. Um, don't look at this as a bad thing by any means, because the tower just means that everything is being wiped clean. You can start over, start fresh, um, begin with healing and move forward, and you can build your new life, your foundation, exactly um, how it's meant to be, how you want it. And anything that isn't um, for your greatest good will be will be uh, eliminated or or taken away. So in your energy, earth signs, you have the six of pentacles in reverse, clarified by the nine of swords. So you have felt out of balance. You have felt uh, like either you or your person was um, not sharing your energy the way it was meant to be um, to give to one person. There was a third party in this situation. Um, and there was a lot of stress about that, a lot of anxiety, a lot of... Uh, sleepless nights trying to figure out who's, who am I going to, uh, who should I pick or is my person going to pick me? Um, they are, it is both sides here that I am seeing very strongly, but there's been a lot of, um, a lot of stress about when is this energy going to balance out? When are they only going to contribute to me? And when is this energy going to balance out? Who do I pick to give my energy to? Uh, you also have the devil here, which, um, for you Capricorns, that is you being in your element. We are in the, uh, we are just coming out of the time of Capricorn. However, I do feel that for the majority of you, this is obsessive thoughts. For those of you who are waiting for somebody to pick you, waiting for somebody to come back, your thoughts are, uh, these are like overthinking it, like constantly thinking, when are they coming back? When are they picking me? When are they doing this? When are they doing that? And it's become, it's like overtaking. Yeah. This is obsessive thoughts about this third party with the three of cups in reverse. When is this third party going to end? Um, it's kind of overtaking your whole, uh, thought process. Every time you have a free minute to think about anything, you're thinking about, well, when's this person coming? When's this third party situation going to end? Um, and it's becoming very, um, overwhelming for you. For those of you who are in the third party or or have two people, um, this is that toxic energy that is surrounded around the three of cups and um, the karma being uh, uh, dealt with and being created by having this third party. But uh, the third party is coming to an end. So you are ending the toxicity of that situation with the three of cups in reverse. You have put that third party to a stop. Um, so you will be able to, uh, purge that, that, uh, devil energy with the tower here. You also have the ace of pentacles in reverse, which just cause it's in reverse doesn't mean it's not coming for you. It just means not yet. Uh, you will get this new beginning. You will get this, uh, gift from the universe, this gift of abundance. Let's see what it's here for the two of pentacles. Yeah. When you stop juggling these two people, when you end the third party and bring balance back into your life, restore balance in your own existence, that is when you will get this new beginning. That is when you will get this abundant, fresh start, this gift from the universe. But you have to, this whole thing is about balancing your energy. The six of pentacles in reverse. You have to pick one person, three of cups in reverse. You have to end the third party and the two of pentacles. You have to find balance back in your own life. And that is when that gift will be coming in for you. The person that you are dealing with, uh, 
they have justice, the two of cups in reverse, and the eight of wands. Why is this justice card here? This person just wants balance. This person just wants a fair relationship where the two of you can um, give to each other uh, an equal, an equal, like both of you are contributing an equal amount of energy to the relationship. Why is justice here for? Thank you. Two of cups in reverse. Okay, so this is somebody uh in that you have a commitment with right now this is not the third party this is somebody that you are married to or have a long-term commitment with because it's justice clarified by the two of cups in reverse so that automatically tells me as a reader how i read my cards that this is a divorce so the person that you are married to or have a long-term commitment with that you have to equally divide your belongings or things that you have bought in together built together whatever um the case may be uh, this person, they, they're emotionally drained and they are, uh, wanting to seek justice. They are wanting to get a divorce, um, so that they can remain, so they can regain balance in their own life as well. Um, this whole situation has really, uh, drained them with the two of cups in reverse twice. Uh, there's a lot of emotional, um, a lot of emotional, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like there's a lot of <clears throat> emotional hurt caused by this third party. Why is the two of cups here in reverse for for a science person? Nope. Thank you. Okay, so um, the two of cups in reverse um, could be due to you becoming emotionally distant, emotionally uh, unavailable. With the four of cups here in reverse, the the relationship ran dry because you, um, your person or you, whoever this is, um, became emotionally closed off. They weren't voicing how they felt. They weren't... Um, they just put a wall up and that was it. With the four of cups, so um, they're, you're not, or your per partner is not seeing the gift from the universe that will be given to them by the ending of this relationship. When this relationship comes to an end, uh, they will see what the gift in all that is. With the four of cups, so they're not quite seeing it yet. They're focusing on um, what they are losing and not what they will gain in the long run. Sometimes we have to give up uh, something to get something better. And they're not quite seeing that just yet. They're just seeing the betrayal of the third party here um, and the hurt that was caused to them. Uh, with the eight of wands here, fast moving communication is coming in or going out to this person. Mm, yeah. Um, and it's going to cause some heartache. Um, your spouse, your partner, your long-term partner, they are get, receiving communication that's going to break their heart or they are delivering communication that's going to break your heart. Um, either one, this third-party situation, Earth sign, has really caused a lot of heartache, a lot of tears. Um, and your long-term partner or spouse um, is just, they're just ready to, um, they want to feel normal again is what I just heard. Uh, your guys' outcome, you're both going to come to a place of introspection. You're both going to have to go deep within and see what path is meant for you. Listen to your inner guide, your inner wisdom, and follow the path that your heart is telling you to take because that's the only way you're um, going to be led to happiness is if you listen to your own heart. Why is the two of wands here? Is there outcome for earth signs? We got two cards, the seven of swords in reverse and the lovers in reverse. So you have to go within and choose which lover you're going to pick. With it being in reverse, I see that the spouse or long-term commitment is not going to be the relationship you pick because in your outcome, you have the lovers in the upright. Um, so and then it's with the seven of swords in reverse. So you are going to choose um, not to cheat and deceive this person anymore but you're going to choose to walk your own path and um, choose to sit out and, and 
search of love and your partner is going to, um, they're going to be on board with that as well. With, oops, yeah. The Seven of Swords is out next with the High Priestess in reverse clarifying it. So the lying, the cheating, the deceiving, it may um, be stopped right now, but the secrets of the past are coming out with the High Priestess in reverse. Um, and that is uh, causing a lot of the heartache for this person as well. Um, but the Seven of Swords is here as well in reverse. So at least the deceit will be coming to an end. But that's what the Tower is um, helping do. It's bringing out these secrets so that this can move along in, in the way it's meant to. So this deceit and this cheating and this uh, negative energy is not uh, does not keep in your guys' uh, energy. Why is the Empress here in reverse? All right. That wanted to pop out earlier when I was shuffling for this, but I hadn't called for it yet, so I put it back in. So um, with the Empress, uh, you have the Ace of Wands. You are going to move in a direction of who you have a lot of passion for. It could be a uh, fire sign, but um, this is going to be able to create a whole new life within uh, with somebody who will be able to love and nurture and grow this idea, this relationship, the two of you could go into business together, whoever you're um, moving towards earth sign, but this is a passionate new beginning full of passionate ideas. Love, love, uh, is creating this new life for you. And I love the Empress card with this, uh, deck because it has the wheel of fortune surrounding her. So it's time to move forward. Um, and, and to create what life it is that you want. Um, also the Empress is sometimes signified as the mistress card. Um, you will be having this new beginning with your third party. I do feel with the tower being here for you and your partner and the three of swords in your partner's row. I mean, just all the things, um, are pointing to the, that you are going to have a new beginning with the mistress. If you have a mistress or a third party, if you have a third party, um, if you are the one that was in a third party and you are leaving them two behind, you are going to have a passionate um, new beginning and you are also going to be able to create your own life, but you will be the empress, the creator of your own reality, the um, maker and um, nurturer of your own soul, which is a very beautiful thing as well. You deserve this earth science. If you are the one in the third party, you deserve love. This is not the kind of energy that you want to live your life with. Um, and you will be leaving a situation that you're currently in and manifesting true love for those of you who are leaving a third party. For those of you who are in separation from a twin flame and they are your mistress at the time or now, you are in separation from them, but you are manifesting a reunion with this person. So really the tower brings in a positive new beginning for both couples here, for both persons in this marriage, in this long-term commitment. Um, it's clearing the way and enabling you guys to bring in real love, true love, um, into your life instead of pretending, um, that what you're doing right now is working out. Let's see what our romance angels have for us. Spirit angels, what? message do you have for our earth signs for Sunday, the 27th of January. And the card that <laughs> is deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And I think we figured that out with the two seven of swords and uh, the three of swords. So just be cautious. Um, you, if this message resonates with you, you know it. Um, and you also know that this person, um, uh, is probably feeding full of shit. So, um, Follow your heart. That is what I keep hearing. Follow your heart. Go within. Decide which path you're going to take. But whatever it is, make sure it's the path that makes your heart happy again. Because this three of swords is no fun. That's the energy that you want to get away from. So allow this tower to fall. Allow the universe to clear out for you what no longer needs to be there. So you can have a clean slate to build your new life on and to create this beautiful reality for yourselves. So... All right, Earth Saints, have a beautiful Sunday. I send you all healing, love, light, and God bless.